Hello, Squirrel Tribe. So to start this, I want you to hear what Donald Trump has said at one of his rallies that I think everybody needs to be reminded of. And then we're going to move on to a couple other things. But this needs to be heard. It needs to be remembered and it needs to be shared. So keep this part in mind. And let's take a listen to what Donald Trump had to say. If Comrade Waltz and Comrade Harris win this November, the people cheering will be the pink haired Marxists, the looters, the perverts, the flag burners, Hamas supporters drug dealers, gun grabbers, and human traffickers. But with a Trump fans victory, the cheers will come from the police officers, the firefighters, the border patrol agents, the steel workers, small business owners, parents, and hardworking citizens of every race, religion, color, and creed. And Which is very, very true. No matter how you look at it, if you sit back and you look at what the left is pushing, and who is pushing it versus the right and who is pushing things and what they want. You can see a stark difference, just like Donald Trump said. And I just wanted you guys to hear that and keep that in mind when it comes time to have political conversations with your spouse, your family, your friends, your children, anybody like that. When it comes time for you to vote, those are things that I think we should all remember. Now, there, there is a, a, a post on X from Elon Musk himself that I wanted to read to you guys. This is from Elon Musk on, on X. And it says, you watched the Hunger Games and sided with the resistance. That would be Katniss Everdeen and everybody there. You watched Star Wars and sided with the resistance. Luke and Han and, and Princess Leia. You watched the Matrix and sided with the resistance. Neo and Morpheus and people. You watched Divergent and sided with the resistance. And I can't remember her name, but I love the Divergent series. You watched V for Vendetta and sided with the resistance. When it's fiction, you understand, yet you refuse to see it when it's the reality you're living in. Wild. And that is so incredibly true. But here's the thing. The people who are accepting everything that's happening in our country right now have never watched The Hunger Games, have probably never watched Star Wars, The Matrix, Divergent, V for Vendetta. Because if they had, it would be a lot less easy to manipulate them the way they are be being manipulated right now by the left side. The, the people who have seen these, we have our eyes open and we fully understand that this is where we are right now. We have a government who is trying to basically turn the USA upside down. Absolutely crazy to me. There, There's this... Um, let me see if I can get this to, to play. This uh, post here on X, I got tagged in this by Huggin Munnan. I don't know how to say the name, but I got tagged in this on X. And it's a black female who is basically spitting facts. It's, it's based off of this post here that is give Kamala Harris a blue Senate. Donate. It says Kamala Harris is running for president and we need to ensure she has a blue Senate when she's, ele when she's elected. Will you chip in $25 or more today? And it's, it's basically just begging for money and it's get, it gets really old after a while, right? So this female comes out um, and I wonder if I can get this to play. And let's see, because I want you to hear what she has to say. Number one, this woman is absolutely gorgeous, but also I love her accent. She's got an amazing accent. But what she says is very true. And not a lot of people want to hear this. But the problem is people don't like to be made to feel stupid or ignorant. And they don't like to have things pointed out when they're wrong. So they would rather ignore the truth. That way they can kind of sit in their, their ignorance and, and not have to focus on the fact that they are wrong in something. But I want to play just a little bit of this for you guys. Black folks, every time I turn around, I just get more and more sick of y'all. What in the hell are y'all celebrating? Y'all haven't seen Camilla this entire time. Camilla did the same exact thing the average nigga do when they know they're about to meet you. Figure out a way to get in contact with you. She threw up a barbecue. Niggas been getting tricked for years with food. She allowed y'all to drink up all the check sodas that y'all wanted and take all the pictures with her that y'all wanted, showing nothing but gums and teeth. Half of the photos that y'all was able to take with this woman, this woman wouldn't have dare been captured in a photo with half of y'all if she didn't need you. She wouldn't dare be even... Look, there's a lot more to this that she says. I'm going to try to put this uh, in the pinned comment so you guys can go watch this over on X. I don't know who she is. The TikTok that it was shared from is not hers. But everything she is saying is very true. Kamala Harris, again, 
she wasn't black until it, it was going to help her, until it was going to get her votes. And the things that she has done with Meg Thee Stallion at the Atlanta um, rally, the other concert that was going on, and then she just happened to show up for it, Bon, bon Ivan, Bon Iver, something like that. Uh, a lot of the things she has done have been to portray something that she is not in hopes of getting invited to the barbecue basically is the phrase and the way it goes and it's very true and this woman is speaking out about it we keep hearing that kamala harris is going to get the black vote but i see a lot of black men and women who do not agree with kamala harris and what she stands for what she wants her open border policy the fact that she says that just because you've crossed the border illegally doesn't make you a criminal that's exactly what it is that's exactly what it means if you have done something illegally it makes you a criminal and the fact that she is not aware of that after being the attorney general in um in california and doing the things that she did she doesn't know that doing things illegally makes you a criminal we have a much bigger problem here this is the woman they want to put at the head of the united states someone who does not see right from wrong and believes everything is okay as long as it's something she's for you have on top of that you have besides just her now you have we talked about this yesterday. We haven't seen Biden in forever. Biden has been missing. You know why? Because Biden's been living it up in Delaware. He's at probably, this is probably Rehoboth Beach or whatever, just laying out. Number one, it's weird because I don't, that doesn't look like Biden to me. And we've talked about, we haven't seen Jill anywhere either. There's some brunette next to him. I don't know who she is. Maybe I'm missing something there, but I'm pretty sure that's Jill in the blue hat. Just chilling. Now I haven't seen Biden move any. Hopefully he's you know, still inhaling and exhaling, but he has not. Oh, there he goes. All right, we're good. He's moved. But here's the thing. Taxpayers are still paying, you know, the presidential salary to a man who is no longer doing his presidential duties. He's in there in the office until January 20th. He's under the impression November 5th he's done, but he's supposed to be there until January 20th. And he has basically checked out. It is like he's living the, the last days of his life doing whatever he wants to do. It, it makes you wonder, is there seriously something wrong with him? I don't have the, the links to it pulled up. We'll talk about it tomorrow probably. But Laura Loomer stated when uh, Biden was in Las Vegas, remember he, was a, he talked to the NAACP group that was there in Vegas on July 17th maybe? And he was supposed to talk to an Hispanic group right after that. But then suddenly he came down with COVID and he had to leave is what they said. But there, there has been proof that has come out. As Laura Loomer said, she said that there was a big issue, that there was an emergency, that there was a helicopter involved. They had police shutting down roads because it was a medical emergency and there have now been released calls and and proof that she was right and i'm going to bring those up tomorrow because i got to listen to them you guys need to listen to them but if that's the case it would definitely explain why we haven't seen him it would explain why he took his name off the presidential ballot for the democrat party for this this voting term uh for the 2024 ballot right it would explain why he hasn't been really anywhere that we've seen and why he's now just chilling on a beach somewhere even though he is technically still the president if he is literally hospicing himself and living out his last days then even I would be you know I don't want him to be stressed out if this is the end you know I would much rather him be able to enjoy the last couple of days I would feel that way for absolutely anybody because you know it sucks getting towards the end right but the fact of the matter is he has not been in office he has not been doing anything Kamala Harris hasn't been doing anything there's nobody running our country right now the only thing Kamala Harris has been doing is going on these different rallies and literally reading the same script in every single one and just switching out the name of the city literally every single city she reads the exact same script and it is really tiring it's really dumb and it's like she does not realize that people are recording these and they will be posted up on the good old internet for people to see and hear the same speech over and over and over again it's absolutely ridiculous to me that that's where she's at um but the other thing that i wanted to mention to you guys here which is if i can get this thing to come up where are we at okay here we go so kamala harris the fake border czar um tim walls is a fake command sergeant major and their crowd size photos are fake too it is an astroturf campaign so this shows here um harris campaign faked crowd size photos we've seen this a lot this photo here right here people are saying this is ai laura i think laura luma even posted about it she said that because you look at the phones and you see that one is completely um blank and then other ones don't really look correct everything looks weird right Right? But now, the airplane they're all supposedly standing in front of, you see where it's circled? That is an empty tarmac. 
where are all the people? If all of these people are technically standing right in front of that, they would be visible in that picture. And guess what? They're not. There is nobody there. So they are saying that all of these photos are being AI made, generated to show a crowd that isn't even there. They're saying that um, in what state was it? What city was it? What state was it? I think it was the Montana one that just happened after Trump had his plane issue yesterday with the hydraulics is what they're saying and had to stop over in built billings somewhere before he went on to his rally they are showing the exact same footage of trump's rally saying that that's kamala's rally and that it's a full ha packed house and everything else and you don't have to be smart at all to look at it and go that's a lot of red for somebody who's blue like th the the things that the harris walls um and not even administration i guess campaign headquartered people whatever are doing right now is absolutely ridiculous to me they truly think that their constituents are stupid i can't disagree with them there if these people are willing to vote for that man and that woman given the fact that they are blatantly lying to them given the fact that they want to turn the world upside down maybe they are stupid i don't know we have literal proof that they are faking their photos. We have literal proof that they are faking their rallies. We have little proof that they are repeating the same words over and over and over. It's the same script, different city. Literal proof that nobody, she didn't win any primaries to get onto the ballot. There's, they literally booted one man out to plop their, their pick in there. And it, that, I feel like that's definitely not constitutional, right? So I wanted you guys to see that picture. Now, this other one, this right here. This right here is a video of Tim Walls, Minnesota governor, signing, legalizing uh, driver's licenses for everybody. You do not have to be a citizen, nothing. Driver's licenses for everybody so they can vote, so illegal immigrants can vote. Understand that that is exactly why the border czar has not done her job. That's exactly why Tim Walls is her VP pick, because she needed somebody who was going to make it easier for her to win. The Democrats did this. It's not just Kamala. Biden's in on it. Every single person over there is in on it. In order to let this happen, they had to make sure that they sucked at their job of securing the border. Millions upon millions upon millions of illegal immigrants have been flowing through because, according to Kamala, it, they're not criminals. They're fine. They're breaking the law completely, but they're not criminals. It's not a big deal. Give them phone, give them house, give them food, give them money, give them whatever, give them a driver's license, give them the right to vote. Who do you think they're going to vote for? The same people who let them in and gave them the house, the money, the cars, the, the, the cars, the money, the food, the phones, the everything else, and the driver's license. Of course, that's who they're going to vote for. They are being bought by the Democrats for their vote. So at the end of it all, when it's all said and done, these non-criminal criminals have just helped Kamala Harris win the presidency of the United States by literally breaking so many laws, destroying our Constitution, absolutely everything else. And people don't see it. Like the black female was saying in the video, they don't see it. All they see is that somebody offered them something and pretended to be their friend and cool, that's it. You know, the, even the illegal immigrants, if they understood that the Democrats are destroying the country, they would even want to vote Republican. They'd be like, oh, we came over here for a better life. A lot of them do come over here for a better life. And having Democrats running it is not going to afford them a better life. It's going to make it so much harder for even them. But they don't realize that because the Democrats lie, lie, lie. Obviously, and I've said it before, not everybody who is a Democrat is awful, just like not everybody who's a Republican is good. But you have to look at the grand scheme of things. And in the grand scheme of things, the Democrats are proving that they do not have the best interest of the country and its citizens, its legal citizens at heart. They do not have the best interest of you and I. They have the best interest of themselves, of the corporations, of becoming the one world order, of becoming, you know, CBDC, central bank digital currency, of making it so that you have no more real food. You're going to eat lab made foods. There's nothing good about what is happening in the administration right now. And there's less good that would happen if that same or half of the same administration were to win the, the presidential election on November 5th. It's just going to continue to get worse, which nobody likes to hear. You want to hear, yay, it's going to be so much better under the next president. That's not going to be the case if we continue on the same path with the same people, you know, like, again, it's a Homer Simpson thing. If you keep putting your finger in a socket, don't. And you keep doing it. What does that make you? It makes you a moron. My husband posted up on his uh, community post on uh, YouTube, I think, uh, Kevin247. I think he posted up the one 
driving with a why driving with a flat tire something along the lines of driving with a flat tire and then deciding to continue on that same flat tire for the next four years i don't know how it went y'all have to go check it out it was smart and, and they put kamala's face as the tire which made sense and it was very funny but i have butchered it so there's that um it doesn't make sense to want a different outcome but continue on the same path but the problem is a lot of democrats don't want a different outcome they're happy with the way things are and i cannot for the life of me figure out why I cannot for the life of me figure out why. If it's all about abortion and all about, you know, transgender stuff, that feels like such a small population to really be controlling the Democrat side. There are not that many women out there who are using abortion as birth control, and there's not that many people out there who think they're in the wrong body. There's enough people out there trying to convince kids and people that they're in the wrong body, but I don't think there's really that many people who legitimately feel that way. So why does it seem like, why is the media pushing that the Democrats are doing such amazing things for such a large community when that's not even really the case? Why do they make it seem like Kamala's winning everywhere? So this right here, I was going to save this, but let me get back to this. This right here says that Kamala Harris is leading Donald Trump. According to them, Harris is leading Trump among Latino, vo Latino voters. I'm calling our Latino friends and families to please answer my question. Is this an accurate poll? Because according to Fox News, they're saying Harris has a 58% of the Latino vote and Donald Trump only has 42% of the Latino vote. But you have to, again, think about it. These polls are skewed. They lie through their little teeth about these things. They found 10 people who maybe didn't speak English and said, who you're voting for? And they showed the picture. They go, this is the one who let you in and this is the one who wants to keep you out. Of course they're going to vote for Kamala Harris, the one that let her in versus the one that wants to keep him out. I don't know that they're actually asking people of Latino descent who are legal citizens and should be the only ones legally allowed to vote if they're going to vote for Harris or Trump. I don't think that's what they're asking because they want to skew the vote, the polls, so it looks some kind of way. Because a lot of people will go, oh, well, I mean, she's already going to win. I might as well vote for her. She's already got a bigger percentage. I might as well vote for her. Voting for him is like wasting my vote. That's the unfortunate way people think. They see numbers like this and they go, oh, well, I might as well just because everybody else is. They're bandwagoning it because they don't know how to stand on their own and grow a pair and do what they think is best for them and their families because might as well, it's not going to win anyway, blah, 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 blah. I personally don't agree with that. I fully believe that Trump is going to win November 5th if we continue reminding people that you do have a voice and if you continue to remind people how shitty Kamala Harris and Tim Walls are and what our country is in store for for the next four years if we go that route. The, it's, you have to not be afraid to have the conversations and so many people are chicken shit about talking about politics i've had so many comments oh my god i wish you'd go back to talking about grocery stores man bump that if you want grocery stores go watch somebody else this is what we're talking about over here now oh my god i wish you would you know stop recording your jeep i don't care close your eyes boo it doesn't matter where i'm at what matters is the conversation that we're having too many people are scared to talk about the things that truly matter because then they themselves have to look inward and go, oh man, I'm stupid. I thought this and this. Oh man, I've been ignorant. I thought this and this. And nobody likes to admit that they are wrong. Nobody likes to admit that maybe they've made a wrong decision. Nobody likes that feeling. So instead, they just stick their head in the sand and don't deal with it. And that's how we end up with a Biden-Harris and now how we could possibly end up with a Harris Walls. Too many people with either heads up their ass or stuck in the sand. We need heads out of everywhere and paying attention to what is going on. All right, all right. Now, let me see if I can find this. Nope, we just did that one. Please hold, I have another little thing to show y'all. Now. Breaking news, because yesterday breaking news with Trump wasn't enough with, you know, his plane having to emergency land. Breaking news, the Trump campaign has been hacked and the hacker is leaking internal comms from high level staffers to Politico. Iran is believed to be behind the hack. The hack appears to be payback for what he did to Qasem Soleimani, whatever. Campaign Spock Stephen Chung says uh, these documents were obtained illegally from foreign sources hostile to the United States intended to interfere with the 2024 election and so changes, uh, so chaos throughout our democratic process. On Friday, a new report from Microsoft found that Iranian hackers broke into the account of a high-ranking official on the U.S. presidential campaign in June 2024, which coincides with the close timing of, Donald, of President Trump's selection of a vice presidential nominee. The first files released by the hacker included a dossier 
on J.D. Vance that was sent to Politico, which contained everything from his past criticisms of, uh, criticisms of Trump to potential vulnerabilities. More files and emails are expected to be released. And, you know, they've got this little picture that goes with it. And then there was another one that got posted up about the same thing. And this one is from Nick Sorter over on X. And it says, breaking, the Trump campaign has been hacked. A hacker used a phishing link to break into a high-ranking official's email, then steal internal documents and communications, which they've begun leaking to Politico. The campaign blamed foreign sources hostile to the United States, and Microsoft released a report pointing the finger at Iranian hackers. Mm, but did they really, though? Because, again, I do not trust the left. I do not trust Biden and Harris and the Democrats in general. Look what they did with the attempted assassination of President uh, Trump. Look what they did with cleaning off the roof, letting this guy up there. All these things, letting the Secret Service completely ignore what was going on, pretend like they didn't know there was a shooter or two, pretend that none of this stuff was happening, put his life on the line. Then you have the airplane thing yesterday. You're telling me that this is not in-house, that this is not the Democrats doing this to him, and they're going to blame it on Iran because right now Iran's in the hot seat. So, of course, they're going to blame it on, on Iran. They're going to blame it on somebody else but themselves. We all know how this works, though. All you have to do is literally watch any political movie, and you know it can't, the call came from inside the house. That's how it works, right? So at no point in time do I believe that some random Iranian decided to hack into all of these things about President Trump and release him. I fully believe that somebody in Harris's team said, hey, look what I can do. Somebody at Microsoft said, hey, listen, Harris, you're, pan you're handing out money for people to sit in the seats at your rallies. You're handing out money for people to post about you and show up at the DNC. How about you hand out a little moolah, dear? And I will do what needs to be done for you in, in President Trump's files. That's what I believe. I do not trust anything that they tell us at this point in time because you have to take everything with a grain of salt. My nose is itching. They're never going to tell you the truth about anything. So you have to be willing to look for it yourself. All right. What's interesting here. Um, let's see. Real Donald Trump. Let's see. Hold on. There's There was a thing here I wanted to show you. And now... I can't find it, so maybe it doesn't matter. Everybody's saying Iran is targeting the U.S. election with fake news sites and cyber attacks. This is according to Microsoft. But isn't Microsoft the same one that had the issue a couple weeks ago and they claimed, they blamed it on some software update when really it could have been them, This that could have been their way of covering their butts for what they're doing with leaking everything? Again, I trust none of them. I trust none of them. None of them. I'm going to put, like I said, a link at the end of this so you can watch that female with the accent. Man, her accent. I absolutely love it. So you can watch what she had to say because it's very true. And it's something that needs to be said and needs to be talked about. Might send it to the Hodge twins. Uh, I think they would they would do good talking about that. That would be a good one. Maybe I'll send it to them. Um, I do want to say that uh, Monday school starts back for my daughter. She goes into high school. She's a freshman this year. And I plan on being here more often, two or three videos a day. We've taken the summer to hang out as a family, my husband, my daughter, and myself. So I haven't been here as much as I'd like to be to bring you guys more information. And I'd like to bring you obviously more than just the politics. There are a lot of other things I want to talk about, but because I'm trying to spend as much time as possible with my family over the summer, I haven't been doing uh, what I wanted to here with you guys. So starting Monday, once school starts back, we're going to be here a lot more often. So if you would like more videos, make sure you guys hit the notification bell. If not, no harm, no foul. I love you either way. And I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day. Love your comments. Leave them below. Let me know what you think about every random thing we discussed today. And if you have something you want to like deep dive into or discuss about any of this stuff that's going on or something else outside of that, don't be afraid to leave it in a comment, shoot me an email, DM me over on Instagram or tag me and stuff on X. I have links to everything in my banner or in the about section also. So that's that for now. I love you guys and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.